To import a library from a folder on a local PC or a network drive, we can click the Add Files or Folder button, then choose Add Folders. Here we can browse for a library. In this example, we'll use the standard Autodesk library stored on the C drive. We'll bring in a sample from the 2018 library set to demonstrate the workflow. Focusing on the Columns folder, we can see that there are subfolders which will also be scanned as part of this process. We can automatically add folder names as keywords if this helps, or if not, we can just click OK. Context Studio is smart enough to avoid family and project backup files and will advise if it finds any of these. This keeps your library nice and lean. Once the files are indexed from their original location, we receive a message that we need to extract the family info. The reason for this is that the category and the type parameters can only be accessed from within Revit. As we are currently working outside of Revit, we need to run a batched processing tool to get the missing information. To illustrate this issue, the category is also flagged as missing in the results pane. On the right hand sidebar, we can also see high level stats informing us that the files are missing type information and category information. This is a handy check to see if you're ready to upload your files to a shared library or not. Selecting a file and viewing its type parameters in the sidebar will also indicate missing types along with instructions on how to extract the category and parameters. Now let's switch to Revit and on the Content Studio tab, let's choose Extract Family Info. Running this process for older versions of Revit families may take longer as the files need to temporarily upgrade before the information can be extracted in Revit. Therefore, where possible, use the appropriate version of Revit for extracting the information. Depending on the size of the library you're importing, it could take some time to churn through these files. However, this is normally a one-time only process when migrating your libraries into Content Studio. When the process completes, switch back to Content Studio and refresh the work in progress area to see the changes. The category has now been extracted and the sidebar stats have also updated. All items are now ready for upload. Selecting a family and viewing its type parameters in the sidebar, we can also see the information has been extracted successfully. When viewing a family with multiple types, use the drop down to switch between types and view the type parameters outside of Revit. The additional data generated in this process gives Content Studio the ability to run powerful advanced searches across not just one library, but the entire database. This functionality means that files can be tracked down based on far more than just a file name. We now have the ability to search family types, parameters, parameter values, even values buried deep inside type catalogs. Check out other tutorials to learn the various ways to upload files into shared libraries.